I want to welcome you to governmental and nonprofit accounting. It is my guess that most of you are sitting there thinking, I really never thought I would take an accounting course. And guess what? You really aren't taking an accounting course now, at least not one in the traditional sense. But let me introduce myself, give you a little bit of my background, and then we'll talk about the nature of this course and how I believe it's going to give you the tools necessary to work with financial statements without having to actually prepare them. My name is Gregory Allison. I'm a professor, actually a senior lecturer, at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill School of Government. I have served in that capacity for 17 years. But I have been in this profession for 30. I'm a certified public accountant, and shortly after my education ended, I worked as an auditor with the international accounting firm of Deloitte Haskins and Sales, which then became Deloitte & Touche. Many of you may remember references to the Big Eight, which at the time represented the eight largest accounting firms in the world. Well, I started my career during that time. I think we're now down to the big three because of mergers and things of that nature. So it shows it was a while back, but that's really where I uh, got my first real exposure to the governmental environment. Many of my clients were governmental entities. And I became a relative expert in the intricacies of governmental accounting and financial reporting. It's a unique environment, and I really enjoyed it. In time, I actually uh, moved from the audit world to the CFO world and actually became a finance officer for a local government entity where I was able to hone the craft and understand the environment even better. That transitioned many years later into the opportunity to do national teaching and research. And this is where I would spend a tremendous amount of my time traveling the country teaching finance professionals about the requirements of state and local government accounting and financial reporting. I also had the opportunity to um, author numerous articles and other publications in the field. In 1997, I had the opportunity to join the faculty of the UNC School of Government, where I was going to focus specifically on organizing their curriculum of governmental and nonprofit accounting training. I work very, very closely with finance professionals all over the state, as well as in our graduate programs in the Masters of Public Administration program, of which you were enrolled. I have taught this course now since the spring of 1998, and I thoroughly enjoy the discourse that I'm able to achieve with the students. I like engaging them in a topic that most of them never thought they would get involved with. And I try to tell them and show them how useful this information is and that you don't have to be an accountant to be able to navigate it and utilize it. So that's where we get to the pure nature of this course. As I said earlier, it's not a traditional accounting course. I'm not going to teach you how to be an accountant, but I am going to teach you how to understand what the accountants are saying. You will have colleagues or possibly will supervise employees that have this responsibility, and you need to understand what they're telling you. This is a navigation course as much as anything. We will have to spend some time at the onset giving some background information as to where this is all coming from, how the governmental sector compares in contrast with the private sector, and how the specific accounting and financial reporting rules that apply to the governmental and nonprofit sector have evolved. But I hope we can very quickly move into working with these financial statements and giving you the tools that you need 
to navigate them. Whether you have an interest in a career at the governmental level or at the nonprofit level, you're going to need to understand the aspects of each because there is definitely an intersection that will always happen. So, I really look forward to getting to know each of you. I look forward to working with you in this topic that I really do truly enjoy. I feel very passionate about this topic because I've seen it in action throughout my career. And I want to help you navigate those waters too. So if you're ready, I'm ready to get started.